Police in at least four different North Texas cities believe they are all looking for one man, the same man for a string of gym parking lot burglaries. They believe he's specifically looking for women going into the gym without a purse. Fox 4's Richard Ray talked with one victim who says she is still frightened by what she went through. Rich. Good evening, Steve. Police do believe the crime spree stretches from South Lake to Plano, but six of the locations are here in Flower Mound, all in the last couple of months. I feel very violated. Melissa Pace had her car broken into last week while she worked out at a Lifetime Fitness in Flower Mound. She'd left a tote bag in her Escalade with credit cards and her driver's license. Lifetime has cameras, and so I thought, you know, who in the world's going to do that? They're just not going to do that. There's cameras all over the place, and I was wrong. <laughs> We're hoping that if we can get this guy. Police Daddy believe this is their man. Security camera video taken after another smash and grab spree at a Lifetime Fitness in Colleyville as the suspect used a stolen credit card at a nearby Hobby Lobby. Colleyville police call the man a dedicated opportunist who's watching for women who get out of their cars without a purse. He knows what he was going to do, he, where he wants to do it and he's going to strike. But he's going to take the opportunity to see who's left their valuables in the car and then he's going to strike. Flower Mound police report six similar crimes since November. They're convinced that the thief is using a spring loaded punch to break out windows. It just has a sharp point on it and uh, all you have to do is push a button and then it shatters the whole window. So there's no swinging motion. It is, it's, it's quieter and it is very quick. Police also released these pictures of the man and the white Ford SUV he was seen leaving a parking lot in. Diana Rodriguez admits that she has left valuables in her car outside the gym. I usually sometimes leave my wallet under the, the seat. I really wouldn't think that would happen here, but I won't do it anymore. This whole thing, you know, there's a little circle out here and all Melissa of this Pace is, is still bad. trying to replace credit yeah, cards and her get, driver's you know, license. More because, than that, she's lost you know, her peace of mind. Strange. That was Friday morning and I have not been back to work out. Um, I have been pretty freaked out, to be honest. Plano, Grapevine, Southlake, they're all looking for the suspected smash and grab thief and they all have the same warning. Whether you're, you're parking in a neighborhood or whether you're at a business, whether you're going to be there for a minute or whether you're going to be there all day, it's important to remove your valuables from the car completely. If you leave your valuables in a car, they're going to be stolen. Flower Mound police have a tip line that they'd like you to call and you can remain anonymous on this line. It's 972 eight seven four three three zero seven Steve that video is pretty clear somebody should be able to recognize this guy yes you are right that is it's really clear and the old adage if somebody knows him very identifiable and they'll be able to identify him for police all right Richard thank you